اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moving on, we are going to look into some of the example research questions that we may propose as part of our systematic literature review. Now let's assume that we are conducting a theoretical or conceptual review and the title is Systematic Literature Review on a Servant Leadership. Now in this case, we've got just one single concept that we are trying to assess or one single construct. Now what could be our research questions? The research questions could be how the concept of servant leadership evolved over time. What are the theoretical foundations of servant leadership? How is servant leadership differentiated from related constructs like other forms of leadership? How have the measurement scales of servant leadership developed and changed? And what is the future of servant leadership research whereby we can propose future research directions? Now, the objective of this study could be understand conceptual and theoretical development and examine the evolution of its measurement. And the review focuses theory, conceptualization and measurement. Now, again, look at this one. The next one is thematic integrative review. Now, in this case, it's a systematic literature review on servant leadership outcomes. So, how is servant leadership related with other constructs, other variables or how it influences other variables? Now, what are the key outcomes associated with servant leadership? This is the first research question. What are the mediating and moderating variables identified when we have servant leadership with different outcomes? And in what organizational contexts has it been applied? Now, the objective is to synthesize empirical findings related to servant leadership effects on employee and organizations. And the focus could be, and or the rather the focus is on empirical outcomes, moderators and mediators. Now, there could be methodological review. So, it could be systematic review on CSR measurement approaches. Now, here the focus is on measurement, tools, validity and their application. Now, what tools and scales are commonly used to measure CSR? How do they differ across sectors or countries and what validity issues exist in CSR measurement? Now, these are the three research questions and the objective is to assess consistency and robustness of CSR metrics and methods. Now, let's look at this one, conceptual and framework review. Now, systematic review on knowledge management in higher education. Now, here there is a specific focus on the context. What conceptual frameworks of KM exist in higher education? Has the definition of KM shifted in the academic context? What metrics have been used to assess KM performance? What is the future of KM research in higher education? And the objective, the overall objective could be map conceptual trends and framework development for KM in higher education institutions and the review focuses conceptualization, theory, application. Now again, you can have a model development review whereby like the title could be systematic review on antecedents and outcomes of knowledge management. The objective develop a comprehensive framework combining KM drivers and results. Now, in order to achieve this objective, so we may ask these questions. What are the common antecedents and outcomes of KM practices? How are they integrated into existing frameworks? And what new models can be proposed? Now, again, on the same, on another topic, theoretical review. And these can be the research questions. Methodological review, again, these are the research questions. Now, let's say we have another example. Let's take this one. Conceptual plus method review. So, it's a systematic review on emotional intelligence. What are the key conceptual models of EI? How have these models influenced EI measurement? What instruments exist and how valid they are or are they? Now, these questions once answered, will satisfy the objective of linking conceptual models with the measurement tools to evaluate consistency and applications. Now again, this is a concept or the focus is on conce conceptual models and measures. Now you can have a future oriented review as well, whereby let's say this is the topic systematic review on digital transformation in organizations. What theoretical frameworks are used to study digital transformation? What gaps exist in existing frameworks or measures? What future research directions are suggested? Now, these 
questions one once answered will set a try the objective of identifying the gaps in both theory and measurement to propose future research pathways and the focus is on frameworks and future research gaps now these are few examples of different types of reviews and how we can shape our research questions that can help answer these or satisfy these objectives and what is the review focus in these particular examples. Thank you very much.